Hey guys, this is Vamsi again from codereferred.com and today we're gonna see how to implement Android parsable and pass objects via bundle from one activity to another or one activity to fragment or, or any such thing. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll be opening our Android studio and let's check out project from version control. I will be using my previous project uh, called movie board for this current example uh, let's clone the following github link I'm copying here I'm copying the link and let's paste it here so let me test whether it's working or not so it's successful it's showing successful so click on ok now click on clone my project is being cloned so i would like to open it run them later to see the project is our movie board so what we are going to implement in this project is we'll be parceling the movie object from one activity to a fragment so uh, including we'll be including image and we'll be including the text and we'll be including the rating let's go into the code i'll be opening my movie model click on movie and let's implement parsellable implements parsellable Click Alt Enter so that we'll be loading our methods which are required to implement this parse level. So these are required methods which are overrided here as you can see. Again click Alt Enter so that we can create a creator yeah it's also implemented our parsable class is ready so let's go to resources and let's create some layouts for our second as uh, for our fragment We need a content XML, so let's name it as content collapsible toolbar. Yeah, I need to be adding to Git. So let me fast forward this code. Here we require a text view and a rating bar. So let's add a text view very quick let's also add a rating bar the code will be available in my website and in the description below so let's also add a fragment xml so let's also add a fragment detail xml so let let's call it as movie detail fragment and let's quickly add following code placeholder is missing so we'll search placeholder in google and paste it in our project let me drag this placeholder into my project
it's now available in my project and Android automatically detected it. we got an error so app theme dot app bar overlay is not available we need to add a style let's open our styles.xml and add this following piece of code Parent name theme dot it's crashing again because styles dot XML is not present in my values w820dp so it will copy this styles.xml into that folder too copy and paste let's run it again We didn't enter the complete name of the theme. Copy and paste. Now click on run. Oh, app is running. Let's go back. Click on a fragment. Let's add a new fragment. Let's create a new Java class. We'll name it as Movie Detail Fragment, which extends Fragment. Click on OK. Let's add this file to Git2. So let's fill this fragment with the required details. Creating a field for movie. So let's create a field for image view and text view. IV details, banner, uh, private text view. Next view TV details. TV detail ready. Let's also create field for rating. Now we need to override on create view method. So Control O in Mac. So click on OK. So now we imported our on create view method. Let's fill it up. Inflator dot 
inflate it will be taking three parameters which is our layout and a view group let's import R so that it will be detecting our layout a view group and shards for container let's check if arguments are not equal to null if arguments not equal to null we will be getting our movie from the bundle movie is equal to m movie is equal to get arguments dot get pairs label main activity dot let's create a key in my or main activity let's call it as movie key click on alt enter and create a constraint let's name it as movie key or movie name let's check if movie is not equal to null we'll initialize our views we create a method call initialize views and let's use it for initializing all the views required let's load image view with picasso and let's load text view and rating bar accordingly let's go back to main activity and implement on click listener for our cards so our recycler view dot add on click on item touch listener new on item touch listener from recycler view this command new on item touch listener so it implemented the on item click method so let's add a toast message card at position is clicked so card at plus position plus is clicked So let's get movie from adapter movie movie is equal to adapter dot get item from position so let's create a bundle in order to pass the data to other components bundle bundle is equal to new bundle bundle dot put parcelable let's put our movie model into a parcelable using our key which we created previously so 
so let's reference our movie detail fragment movie detail fragment fragment is equal to new movie detail fragment movie detail fragment dot set arguments and let's pass bundle into it next thing is we need to set the fragments argument so get support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace or dot id dot frame container we'll be replacing this frame container with our fragment movie detail fragment sorry add to back stack and we are committing let's run our project again now the project is being loaded now click on a card to get to the details okay it's it's crashed let's open android monitor and look at what's wrong let me expand this null point exception at 40 second line so i'm rating bar so let me check in my fragment whether the id is being added or not so rating bar oh rating bar don't have an id let's create an id for it rating bar now we'll run it again project to check whether it's running or not here our movie board goes let's click on a card there you go image view and text view and rating are being passed from movie board activity to fragment which we created called movie detail fragment so this completes our tutorial on android parsellable for more videos please do like our video subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching see you in the next video thank you